Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and we find ourselves in the middle of a battle with the gym leader of Violet City named Faulkner. He is the flying type gym leader. Um, Alright, let's, let's get on with this. I think where we last left off, I had used Rage, and he hit me with a, a Gust, which boosted Rage's power. And I just want to kind of try to keep that going. There we go. To effectively make it the strongest move that we have. I hope using the potion doesn't reset rage. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't cool. If I'm not mistaken, Rage can build five times before it stops. That didn't look like that did much da much more damage right there. About to use Noctowl. Hold up, is, is Noctowl the ace? I thought Pidgeotto. Well, then again, this, this isn't the original game, so. Nah, I'm gonna keep Kremlin in because we do have that rage built up. Level 14 Noctowl. With Hypnosis, of course. Because why wouldn't it have Hypnosis? And it outspeeds us. So what I'm going to do is go into my bag. And use an X speed. Hopefully that's enough. What the hell? Yo. Yo. How the hell do they have uproar? Okay, that's. That's kind of broken right there. Yeah, upper is like base 90. Alright, so since that was a crit, let's see how much. Okay. So, I. I don't know how to play this. Because it's faster than Kremlin. What's your speed? Kremlin's speed is 28, 26, 19, 27, 25, and 20. So he is our fastest Pokemon. What's your special defense? 28, 13, 14, 19. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong category. 29, 17, 14, 26. 13 and 16 <sighs> Yeah, I'm 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 at a loss. I honestly don't know What to do right here? I just gotta hope that he goes for a different move Because if he keeps using uproar Am I not sleeping? Oh, because Uproar wakes you up, right? Okay. Hopefully we can two-shot him. Of course not. Alright, so that's good. So we don't have to waste an extra turn waking Kremlin up. But that damn Uproar is a problem. I'll use an X attack. Because it seems like his attacking move is uproar. So all we got to do is wait for him to use uproar to wake us up. Plus we got that attack boost. Can we two shot this thing? Because honestly if Kremlin goes down I don't know. I, I don't know if we can beat him. 
Come on, one more. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Yo. That's one hell of a way to start off the episode, though. <laughs> a level 14 Noctowl with hypnosis and uproar. I guess that kind of balances the fact that it has uproar, but that's still, that's unforgivable. Level 14 fully evolved Pokemon with a 90 base power move. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, so... I'm gonna tread carefully before gym matches. His attack go up 3, so he's at 44. Darn! My, da my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Z Zephyr Badge. Is that what it's called? I didn't... I don't remember Zephyr Batch. I don't know, but then again, it probably has been over like 10 years since I played Generation 2. It raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. Is this Uproar? By using the TM, they can learn to move. It's Roost. The user lands and rests his body. It restores the user's HP by up to half its maximum HP. Isn't that awesome? Alright. I'm just glad that we survived that. Honestly, because if Uproar didn't wake up our Pokemon, um, in that battle, and Kremlin would have went down, what, what would have been an option? Cause none of the none of the other team members are fast enough. I think Beedrill had the highest special defense, but I don't know if Fury Attack would have been enough to take it out. Well, if I could have hit it with a Fury Attack and then like Quick Attack it, but then he probably would have hit him with a, a, a potion of some sort and would have been back where we started. Lucky Egg. Who has? Nobody has the amulet coin. Alright, Kremlin, you can hold on to that. I feel like somebody's gonna pop out on me. Oh, okay, beep, uh, Pokey Beeper message. Hello? Is he? We noticed something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Mart in Violet City. Could you talk to him? End of message. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're about to get the egg now. Which... Um... I don't know, I'll swap somebody out for him. Togepi... Especially if I can get Toga Kiss on this, would be pretty helpful. Something else I noticed is we will have we will have a tough time against Rock types and Electric types because we have Graceful, who is a Flying type, and when Shinobi evolves, he becomes Flying bug so that electric would body both of them and Kremlin and then the rock type would body Vanessa, Shinobi and Graceful um but Shed Inja I don't know I don't know who, who the hell would I replace for Togepi though I'm going to just pull Rattata out for the time being. I'm not going to worry about uh, hatching the egg at the mo moment. Maybe I'll do that off screen in between episodes.
Are you the assistant? Izzy, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Izzy, will you take the egg? Sure. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with the with other active Pokemon to hatch. Izzy, you're the only person we can rely on. Please return to Elm's lab when that egg hatches. Okay. Stock up on some potions, because we used like all of our potions in that last battle. It's ridiculous. We're, we're almost already at the point that we need super potions. Because as you've seen in the last battle, that restoring... 20 HP, but taking like 18, 19 every hit. That's crazy. Hold up, before we put them away, let's check it out. It occasionally moves. It should hatch soon. Um. Okay. I didn't think that it would be about ready to hatch. Um, yeah, I'm going to just stick with my squad. I will pull Ratata out, though, after we hatch it. Because by the way it sounds, it seems like it won't be too long before it hatches. And there's a Pokemon Center not too far ahead on this route. Let's check our Pokeballs, because we should be able to access that uh, route below. Yep, 15. So we're good on that. Nothing here. We got a cherry berry from there last time. Let's see that bald spot. Nothing. All right. It's always worth looking though. You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Got the miracle seed. I don't have any grass type Pokemon at the moment though. Your experiences in Violet City should be useful for your journey. And we did learn, I mean, we did get roost. I wonder if the TMs on this are able to be reused or is this a one-time TM? Oh, that's broken. Beedrill can learn roost. I don't know, in the long term, it'd probably be better to give it to uh, Spiro. But Vanessa only has Two moves, Harden and Fury attack. I'll give it to Vanessa. <laughs> they have Mega Evolution in this game, so. Oh, okay, so we can use it on more than one Pokemon. Dope, dope. Which move shall be forgotten? Uh, Leer. If I got the option to drop attack or defense, I'd rather drop the attack. I think I got enough firepower offensively, so. Not to mention, it ain't, it ain't like, um, Leer is going to be, Leer and Growl are going to be like long-term moves. They're eventually going to get replaced with better shit. Alright, let's see what our encounter is. A hop it. Okay, so we can use the that seed on Hoppip. I'm not I'm not gonna add Hoppip though, I don't I'm not really a fan of its evolution line. Jump Pluff. I think that's more of just a, a support Pokemon. Like you send him out to just do annoying shit, leech seed and Sleep powder, and freaking stun spore, and whatever other annoying moves that it can learn. I don't know, but then again, it would be type coverage in the rock tunnel coming up. If it has any grass moves, does it at least have absorb? Its body is so light, it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. Give a nickname, nickname to the captured Hoppet. Um. Um. Well, Jump Pluff is. 
is it called a dandelion? The, the plant that you pick and you blow the little seeds away and make a wish. I'm gonna call you Dandy. Hop up the Dandy. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out when we get to the next Pokemon Center. That was probably like the worst Pokemon over here in this route too. I haven't seen you around here, so you think you are pretty tough? Picnicker Albert. Albert sent out Rattata. Rattata. There we go. We'll start doing dumb shit. Level 15. You'll be evolving before you know it. A Zubat. Um. Vanessa. I need Beedro to learn some new moves. I think I'm gonna put him in the head of the party. I'm gonna put her in the head of the party. And give her the uh, lucky egg. There we go. Zubat is like one of the most annoying early game Pokemon. That's like its claim to fame. Come well, on, you can do this. Check it out. See? And then when it be like the opponent uses Fury Attack or Fury Swipes or something like that, they always hit you like four or five times. You're strong. Well, you're not. You you use a zoo bat, like not go bat or crow bat. I'm gonna get everybody. Uh, no, I, I don't want to give you a pokeball. I'm gonna give everybody a uh, a chance to get up to like level 15 or so. But I think I definitely want to get uh, Gracie or Graceful evolved before the next gym. Since she is a flying type, that'll be helpful going against the bug type gym leader. I'm going to be the. I'm going to try to be the best with my favorites. I'm not using the same Pokemon as everyone else. All right, I respect that. And here I was talking about your Zubat. Another Ninkata. Why are you so bulky? You're only like level 6. Anyway, give me a chance to roost. I can save some potions. So if a flying type uses roost for a turn, it loses its flying typing. Right? I want to say that's the case. So, um, Graceful would become a pure normal type. Uh-huh, yeah. And you know, pardon, battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. So yeah, that would turn her into a normal type. Send out a, a, a Nidoran. I don't think Nidoran should have anything that could hurt me. If it has double kick, I'm resistant to it. I'm resistant to poison. Poison sting. Did it just use Lair on me? Vanessa, what's up with this attack? 
And not even just that, what's up with this low damage that you're doing? There goes double kick. Like I said, resistant. Do I got like a defensive B drill or something? What, what's going on? Fully evolved Pokemon and, and level six uh, Nenkata are walling you, and then the level fourteen Nidoran. Get a level off of this. Not yet. Alright, so one more battle it should be able to evolve. Can I get your number? See, registering numbers early in the early in the game is good because you can always go back and train and grind from uh money if you need to. They're hopping. <sighs> I wish we had a move to boost Vanessa's uh, attack. I mean, not a move, but maybe some kind of hold item or something. Alright, so that should be enough to level up. <laughs> and I forgot to use Roost to heal him. There goes the Bell Sprouts. See, now that would have been an awesome grass type to have. actually fight this thing no I only got like six more fury attacks my Pokemon freshly caught and this is the guy with the six magic card sucked out a polywag okay I'm surprised that thing didn't outspeed me polywag is pretty fast I remember back in the day playing Pokemon Stadium in the, the Pika Cup. Poliwag was like one of the top three fastest Pokemon. It was like him, Voltorb, and Doduo, and Abra. So it, it might it might have been like fourth or fifth. Quillfish. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. If we can hit him a cut, yeah, I, I don't think Vanessa's gonna be able to take him out unless we get a crit. And then it's using Harden like an asshole. Let me get out of here. Alright, it looks like uh, our Ziggy found another item, so we'll go check that out after this. Now you use spikes. It's too late for that, son. Let's minimize. Are we about to start doing annoying shit? Yep, we're about to start doing annoying shit. <sighs> I don't think this is fun. Any ROM creators out there, don't start the game off like this. Nobody nobody finds this to be fun. It's not even like it's a, a, a creative move set. It's just like, you know, what's the most annoying shit that I can do with them? Make my evasion high, poison it, and then increase my defenses. Go 
Come on, man. It only used it twice, and now it's going to keep using Harden. Alright, so at this point, I might just be better off using Water Gun. That stab bonus. Barely. I hope he isn't going to use any more potions. Battle don't need to drag on any longer than it already has. There we go. And down goes the quillfish. Splash. Chill up our team. And we have antidote. All right, Vanessa. I'll swap you out for Shinobi. Give him the lucky egg. Hold him a petcha berry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And I'll give you whatever berry you could take. Yep. Just in case we encounter any more pesky zoo bats. Found an orange berry, not bad. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. No, your loss of concentration made you lose that fish, not me. Shinobi. I forgot which version I was playing. It was one of the ROM hacks, and the guy had uh, a full team of Magic Carps like him, but each of the Magic Carps had Hydro Pump. I was like, "Yo, what the? Hell? <laughs> Why would you do that?" The thing about Magic Carp is they are. I mean, like, they're not the bulkiest of Pokemon, but you also don't normally just one shot them unless. You got them beat by a couple levels and, um, or you're super effective against them. I know that Godin holds Peck, but it shouldn't be able to take me out in one hit. Not to mention I'd be able to get my health back. That's why I didn't switch Aqua Ring. <sighs> okay, so that's like an, an auto heal move on this. It's not the one that heals a little bit every turn. Okay. Either way, goodbye, Godin. Nice knowing you. Good experience. Another fucking magic card. Do I have something that could take it out quicker? Yeah, graceful. Handle this magic card for me, fam. Level 15. Let's see how much Peck does. If it doesn't do that much. Okay, I could take it out in three hits, that's fine. I was gonna say, if it doesn't do that much, then I'll... I got rid of Leer. Well, I was gonna say, I'm gonna do Leer and Fury attack. Forgot about it that quick. A low tad. Let's get Shinobi back in there. No low tad may have water gun, but... My uh, leech life should be enough to take it out. Absorb. No water gun. It's good damage, actually. And now I can get my health back, and that should take it out. There we go. That's it.
close to leveling up. Sploosh. Calm collected. The essence of fishing in Pokemon is the same. Freshly caught Pokemon are no match to properly raised ones. I'm a good angler, but I'm an even better trainer. Sent out a fucking Whelmer. Do you have a rollout? I don't know if it has rollout, so I'm gonna drop its accuracy a little bit. Oh. Yo! Come on, man. I didn't even think Welmer was strong. Especially not with no damn special attack. You use one water gun and, and fucking... <sighs> Bro. Well, I guess we know who Hopip is replacing. <sighs> That's unfortunate, man. Using a potion already. We're just gonna draw this battle out, huh? There goes rollout. See if the roll would have been reversed and they would have used flash or like sand attack on me, I would have missed three, four times in a row. That literally happened on um when I was training before uh, the Violet City Gym. They use Sand Attack twice, and then I missed like four or five times in a row. Come on, man. I never get to use a fucking Shed Ninja. <sighs> okay. Let's get Ziggy some experience. That's really unfortunate. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. <sighs> Fuck this whooper. I'm mad now. Not even only just Shed Ninja, now to give us the chance to have um, the Ghost type one as well. I'm drawing a true brain fart as to what its name is. Oh, Shed Ninja is the Ghost type, ghost type one. Uh, the regular one is called Ninjask. That's what it is. Darn, I thought I could win. Grass is full of clingy things. I'll come back and get those items and battle some of the trainers up there in between the episode. How would you like to have this nutri tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail? For now, just one million dollars. You want this? Shh, I thought kids these days were loaded. Is this a new route? Netball. Do we get a fishing rod? Because I wouldn't mind having a Gyarados. So I'd train that magic carp up immediately. We hope to see you again. This is a great fishing spot. You saw people fishing? How about you? Would you like one of my rods? Yes. <laughs> That's good to hear. Now you're an angler too. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it the sea or stream, try out your rod. Okay. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases attack power. Um. Move Pokemon. 
All right. So this will be our box for Pokemon that are defeated in battle. <sighs> As per the rules of the lock. Um, I'm going to name this box Lock Ended. Or Lock End, I guess. Alright, rest in peace, comrade. It's fun while you last it. Welcome to the team, Hop Ip. So I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'll go back and do a little bit more training before we go through Mount Silver. No, it's not Mount Silver. I don't know what this area is called over here. But we'll we'll go and do that in the next episode. I wanna get Hop Ip up to on par with the team get everybody close to like level 15 or so again scouts honor if anything happens off camera i'll make sure to update you about it in the next episode any pokemon faint or any curiosities happen but anyway with that being said i'm gonna end this right here hope you are enjoying yourself and peace i'm out